I hope you enjoyed the performance. I'm Rod Rodriguez, and if you follow my channel, you know I always add some extra information about the song, such as gear used on the recording, and some interesting facts about the artist, just to make it a better experience for you while you are watching it. If you are not a subscriber yet, you know what, what you should do, please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all the new videos notifications. Helpless is a great and catchy pop blues rock song from John Mayer's seventh album, The Search for Everything, released in 2017. This album came out a year before his PRS Silver Sky signature model was released. That guitar was a little polemic in the guitar community when it first came out, mainly because of its headstock. Many people complain about its design, which I like a lot. I don't have a Silver Sky, but I've tried a few guitars. They are fantastic. My personal favorite is the one with Maple Hope fretboard. Before that, he used to use his Fender signature model called BLK1. That's one of the guitars he used on his classic Continuum album. John Mary used two rock amps, the custom reverb and the Dumbo steel string singer models. He also used Fender amps, mostly the Bandmaster, the 65 Super Reverb and the Vibrocan. In 2015, he began performing with a few different PRS amps, most notably the PRS JMOD100. He used many pedals. This video would be too long to talk about all his pedals but he used the clone overdrive pedal, a super fancy and expensive one. For this solo you can use a tube screamer, some compressor and reverb. I added some delay, it's time to get ready for the solo. Here we go. The first part of the solo it begins at the seventh fret on the fourth string and then there's a quarter band on the third string at the fifth fret and the seventh fret on the same string and then he repeats that Okay, and then there's another band, now it's a band release at the 7th fret. And I pull off to the 5th fret. And then move up a string, 7th. And then move down, 5th. Okay, so one more time, this whole part. The next part, it kind of repeats the same lick. We're now adding the 8th eighth, eighth fret on the 2nd string and then bending the 7th fret on the 3rd and then move up, just following the scale 7, 5, and then move up, 7, and then move down 7 and then pull off to the 5th so one more time this whole part the next part begins at the 7th fret one more time and then move down 5 same string at the 7th fret okay, so you bend it and then you pick it again 5th and move up 7 and there's a slide from the 7th to the 9th and then move down 8 and it repeats that lick and slide again but now it's the 10th 7th and 9th and then move down 10 part and the next part still uh, following the same idea here on the same shape of the scale seven move down five seven and now, now it's the same slide you did before and the eight keep the fingers on okay sounds better like that Okay, so one, two, three, four, and then at the fourth fret, uh, fourth time, it's at the tenth fret on the second string. Okay, so this whole part. The next part of the solo begins at the thirteenth fret, and then fifteenth, and then back to the thirteenth, and then bend the fifteenth fret now. And then keep the bend up with the, your pinky finger, you hit the note at the 15th fret on the first string. And then hit the bend again, going down, 15th again, and then 13th, and then move up, 14, 12, 14. And then bending at the 13th fret on the second string. This whole part one more time. Next 
part means that the 14th fret on the four of third string on down 13, 15, same string and then slide up from the 15th to the 17th on the uh, second string and then move down same, same fret at the 17th fret and then 15th the quarter band that's 17, 15, 17 so this whole part the next part is played at the 17th fret on the second string and then 20th and move down 17 and then bending at the 20th fret on the first string okay so one more time 17 20 move down 17 bending at the 20th one two back to the 17th move up 20 move down 17 move up 20 move down 17 move up 20 and then bending at the uh, 20 fret on the first string hold this whole part the next part it's a little different now because he changes the key so now he's playing over this shape of the scale that's E minor then the 15th fret on the second string then move down 12 and then again move move up 15th fret bending and then move down 12 move up 15 12 and then move up 14 move down 12 and then move up it's a quarter band at the 12th fret and move up 14 okay so one more time this entire lick and the last part is at the 9th fret on the third string and then seven and then move up to the blue the blue scale if you don't know the blue scale i have a tutorial video you can check the link in the descriptions or here on this side or this side one of them so this entire part nine seven move up nine eight seven same string five and then move up seven fifth and seven One time last lick so it's a hammer on from the fifth to the seventh fret on the fifth string and then move down the same thing but now you hit the string again and it's a pull off okay, so. and then slide up from the 79 on the same string and then move down seven move up nine move down nine and then bending at the eighth fret on the second string and then move up, 9, 7, same string, same string, 9, back to the 7 again, and then barring the 8th fret, and then you hit the 2nd and 3rd strings together. So this entire lick. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to know more about me, my private lessons and my online courses, please check my website at www.rodrodriguez.net. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.